Hey everyone. Sitting outside work. I'm gonna do my best to not cry through this. Um I just need to put this out there. My Braylon is currently quarantined at a house with someone who already tested positive and I just don't think anyone understands how serious this could be. Even if littles aren't catching it or if they are and they get through it. My heart and my brain are exploding. My little lady that has been by my side since the day she was born, she's almost died around me four times, is currently in a house with someone who is positive with this. And I'm not allowed to do anything or I have to stop everyone's life around me, my mom's, my boyfriend's, my eighties. I have to sit here and be useless and not know what her day is like, not know if she needs me. I can ask her dad, I can see if she's okay, but it's not the same as having her here with me. I have to stop everything about her life. I have to stop the appointments to get her communication tablet. I have to stop her appointment to get her new AFOs. I have to stop her appointment to see if she can start eating food. I have to stop her appointment to get her new glasses. All because of someone's stupidity of not realizing that if you are sick, you stay home. You don't go near anyone, even if it's a cold. You don't do it. No matter how much I have cried, how much I have tried to make myself understand that she will be okay, the reality is if she catches this, she won't be okay. I don't know how to process this. I don't know how to make myself understand that this is actually happening, that she is actually stuck in a house that could This doesn't touch you. Know in your heart that there are people out there that will not make it through this. And you are breaking everyone's heart around them. I won't get to see her for 14 days. I won't get to touch her for 14 days. I won't get to hear her noises and her everything in person. Obviously, yes, I could call and listen to her. She has been through too much to let someone just hide that they're sick because they don't want to tell me. Please, don't do this to me. Jump. Can you jump, jump, jump? Yay! Jump, jump, jump. Good job, love. Jump, jump, jump. Careful. Good job. Are you? That's okay. You can put it in the sink. Gotta sit down. Sit down. Good job. Good job. Yay. Yeah. Go, go, go. Come here. 
Come here. Oh, goodness. 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 Can you say, uh, boop? Uh. Yeah. Mommy, can I jump up, jump up, jump up? Wait, let sister try one more time and then you can, okay? I'm gonna get your foot up there. Here, just climb up. Put your hands down. Wait, Edie, please. I'm just standing on this part. Let sister try one more time. Say, jumpa, jumpa, jumpa. Jumpa, jumpa, jumpa. Don't push. She knows how. Jumpa, jumpa, jumpa. Uh huh. But she would like. My turn, Pepper. My turn. Braylon, you have to sit down. Woo! On a good note, she has learned that her trampoline is not scary. I have taught myself through her three short years that. You look at all the good, you don't, if you sit and just hang out in the scary and you sit and you just hang out in the what ifs, you will eat yourself alive. I've been crying for two days. I've been feeling useless and not needed and I am needed. I'm not useless. My girl is strong. My girl is amazing. She just needs the fight and she needs everyone. Everyone that watches this. Everyone that can share this. She needs all the positivity there is. Do not catch this. Sorry I'm so silent in parts. I need everyone to share. Share it. Make it aware that this world will be wrong if she's not here and there's a lot of people out there like her that needs everybody to use your brain stay away from people that can get sick if you're sick that's what we all need to do thank you for watching Please stay healthy.